Hello everybody, this is GamerCat09, and finally welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange Before the Storm. I am very much aware that this episode has been out for several weeks now, and I had yet to get around to playing it. There was a lot of scheduling conflict between uh, all of the horror games that I was playing on Twitch for around Halloween, in conjunction with Mario Odyssey coming out and John playing it, so... I kind of had to wait my turn <laughs> to come out here and actually use the PlayStation 4 to play this, but we are finally going to begin this. I have had numerous people ask me if I played it, when am I playing it, where is it? Here it is! So I accidentally started this before and something fucked up with the intro, so I changed the settings. We're going to restart. I didn't get farther than the intro, so let's... um. Yeah, let's restart. Yeah. So we're restarting this episode. Also, if you hear a buzzing, I don't know what that is. I have tried to fix it and figure out where it's coming from, and I can't figure out how to... Oh, that's getting worse. It's getting so much worse. Maybe it's my hard drive. Oh, I hope not. On Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Yeah, um, we're in a lot of trouble <laughs> already. Oh, boy. Oh, Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... Sorry. <laughs> They're like, fuck you, lady. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? I think so. Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Uh, what? Hell no. Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh... Don't screw up. Uh, don't get in trouble again. Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Ooh. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Uh. 
confirmation of drug use. What? Allegedly. I didn't see any witnesses. This is not a trial, Miss Price. This is a sentencing. Shall I continue? Not really. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. <laughs> she wanted Victoria me to go with her. Chase. Oh, Victoria. Never mind. Yeah, fuck her. She cheated. Academic goals like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. Oh, I bet. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Chloe, you tried to get someone suspended? Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf. Why? And we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. <sighs> Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Why? Because he's your favorite? Reassure mom, calm Wells. Let's just tell her mom that this didn't fucking happen. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. Huh. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? <laughs> no, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I need to do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this, but I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Oh my god. Sure. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's Sh true. Sure. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Sure. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you <laughs> or- Trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, this revelation may color the situation some, but- it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. 
and you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh. No. Well, shit. But it's tonight! Oh, what the what hell is the that? The performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Oh. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is so. What such... was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. <sighs> go along with Rachel. Shit! I'm going to... <sighs> God, this is so hard. She really wants to be a part of that play. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Okay, to succeed in black in back talk, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Oh boy. Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Ah. Uh. Wells, you should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. <laughs> Apologize this instant. Oh god, this is hard. Uh... Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard Burn. enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the plate. Hooray! Was but that's so hard. Thank you. And Miss Price. I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. But now I'm gone. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Jeez. Well, and the noise, I am pretty certain is my hard drive dying, so hopefully it can hold out to I'm record sorry. this. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Oh boy. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. They're gonna be like, Mrs. fuck Price. off. I'm Rose. This is James. 
I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. <sighs> we really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <sighs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? Fuck them. <clears throat> Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Oh. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Oh god. She has an emergency joint? Um. Bongo was a stray cat before we rescued her. Then she got run over by a car. Moral of the story. N no one's ever really rescued. Oh. We're taking Bongo with us. Okay. Um. Homework? What kind of homework Love are we how looking at? Every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. So we got an F. So let's trash that. Screw that. Well, at least we're conveniently next to a garbage can. Let's look in our pencil Trust case. Trust keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Oh, I'm not allowed to take that, huh? What's this? Wonder who will grace this space after me. Let's sign it. <laughs> Ten, almost. All right, so oh, doodles. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. So much for that. Let's look at the chemistry the book. Chem was the class I hated the least. Let's take that. Mm. Uh, geometry. Hmm. I always hated geometry. Blackwell at 11 a.m. going 100 miles per hour. How long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? Throw it away. There's a half-eaten donut in my locker. What the hell? <laughs> Who does this? Uh, English. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with <laughs> imagery. Let's look. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Trash it, I guess. Oh, there's Finally, a hole? What I actually came here for. Retrieve? Jackpot. Wait, what the hell? Damn it, Justin. Heyo, had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week. Ugh. Isn't Justin the skater kid? Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... That's precisely why he's there. Uh, bathroom. 
Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Oh yeah, we'll make it fast. Totally. Oh boy, we are really going at it, aren't we? Subordinate Wells. Oh man. Right now, oh! That's a good middle finger drawing. Women take forever to get ready. Emergency. There will be consequences, mom. God, she's braver than me. I, I can't even stand standing on top of the toilet. I feel like it's going to collapse. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, she really is going all out, isn't she? I mean, it looked... Ooh. That looks pretty cool, honestly. I'm leaving, Rachel. Go back to your... Toilet? What does that say? Oh, boy. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? That's great. Oh. Well, then. And that was totally a thing that happened. Oh, that's creepy. Holy shit. Very creepy. Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Oh boy. All right. So, Wells blows that meeting hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Oh, so wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm missing a hell of a lot here. So this happened after episode one. Made it into my house without seeing either of my parents. Sweet. You were born to be a spy. Jumping out of trains and shit. Oh man, we'd make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Haha, <laughs> meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. LOL. Today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You. You also don't suck. I know. We should probably sleep. Got wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Okay. So that's what happened. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting because if wells or the school actually required searching their phones, which I don't even know on what accountability that would be because I don't know if that's considered personal, but they would see that these two are working together. Like... Yeah, but whatever. So, so these are the new graffiti markings to make. Uh, so let's check out James and Rose. You can't trust normal people. Just ask Rachel. Her dad seems like the most normal guy on the planet, but he also turns out to be a cheating dickwad. Come to think of it, maybe that is normal. What sucks is that Rachel and her parents actually seemed to get along really well before. James is the new district attorney in Arcadia Bay, which is the reason Rachel's family moved up here from Orange County. Despite his job, James doesn't act like an uptight law enforcer all the time, unlike some wannabe father figures I know. 
Rose, Rachel's mom, also seems pretty decent. She certainly really loves Rachel and James. Poor lady. Whatever happens with Rachel's family, it still seems like she really does love her parents, and maybe that's all that matters? I'd certainly rather have a cheating dickwad dad than a dead one. Oh, that's depressing. Uh, let's see. Mom, two new messages. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is bad. Okay, so this was from last time. Your school called. I think you know why. We have a meeting tomorrow with Principal Wells. I need you to do better. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe Elizabeth Price, you can ignore me all you want, but there will be hell to pay when you get home. Chloe, did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Come by come home by curfew. We have that meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe, really? I am at my wit's end with you. Okay, so Elliot? Um, holy shit, did you get Wells' text about fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? And then ignored. ABFW alert. Oh, so this is about the, the weather. Active Class D wildfire, not contained, use caution. Check for road closures. Oh boy. So it was really bad. And then, Wells. Dude, the principal's texting me? What the fuck? Members of Blackwell community, please be advised that a fast moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. I have spoken with the Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not believe. Any evacuations are necessary at this time, as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area of the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to waive per punctuality requirements for all sports and extracurricular activities this weekend. Damn. Okay, so there's that. And Another then let's see. Than Max. That I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Uh, hold out on me. Okay. Okay. So, I'm trying to figure out... Let's see. I don't remember if I read this. If I do, I apologize. I'm reading it again. With all the Shakespeare shit going on, I thought I'd write you a sonnet. Then I realized that rhyming is hard and nothing really rhymes with Rachel, which seems fitting given that I've never actually met anyone like Rachel before. With Rachel, everything is a game of some kind. I had to use my breaking and entering skills to get this viewfinder working so we could spy on peeps at the park. Rachel was hilarious making up dialogue for them, and I actually held my own my own mocking some tight shorts wearing speedwalker after we watched some old couple suck face rachel decided it was high time we unsobered ourselves so we hatched a plan to steal wine from these yuppie picnickers picnickers and since it's rachel the plan involved elaborate acting and more improv on my part i killed it once again i'd still never be caught dead on stage but this type of acting i can get behind our hard-earned wine in tow we journeyed forth in search of more fun and games chloe the unsober max uh i don't even know i don't first off was your money on chloe blows this and goes back to having no friends again i hope so how did i fuck it up one moment i'm having the day of my life the next moment i'm awkwardly confessing feelings for her like some dork asking the head cheerleader to the prom and she blew me off because of course she did but wait that's not all because as soon as rachel leaves i find a car my dad's my debt my dead dad's fucking car this twisted shattered ugly reminder of what used to be in my life so i smashed it up obviously and then i passed out and had a dream where my dad told me to find rachel back at the park and rachel set herself on fire but enough about me how was your day chloe the twisted shattered and ugly when did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? I ask because Rachel and I have decided we're done with this shit town. We've had it. It's bye-bye bay. 
But instead of it just ghosting it like someone I know, we're going to leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. I know, crazy. But guess what? I'm pretty crazy, too. I'm not in unrelated news. I finally got my ass kicked out of Blackwell. But at least I managed to keep Rachel from getting booted from her play. I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of fuckery in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges literally and academically. That's how you make an exit woman. Chloe the exit wonder. Well, now we are finally caught up. Holy frick. So. Hold R2 to move faster. K. I gotta face my mom at some point. Oh, can't go that way, huh? Now. Okay, well, fine. Fine, fine, fine. What's in this thing? A bunch of set stuff for the play? There's an announcement? I would've loved this shit. Uh, the future needs excellence because of a generous grant. Be offering new... Oh, photography independent study. Ah. Intro to character modeling and animation. I I took that. I took Photoshop. I took visual concepts. Like, realistically, in my life in college, I, I've taken these. I have not taken photography, though. But, interesting. Hmm. Pothole. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Well, there's a flyer. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Yeah, I wonder if they're ever going to find that out. Uh, hi Elliot, what's up? Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten. Until today. Oh boy. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. Oh, you know. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit. I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Uh, no. Let's not make a big deal out of this. I'm not that emotional oh, about it. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. Hmm. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yeah, I, I did. You sure? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. That's not getting tickets. That's leaning against your car on your phone. I don't know what you're accomplishing, but okay. Ooh, there's a sticker. My other vehicle is drama. What? <laughs> what does that even mean? That is the dumbest bumper sticker ever. Ooh. Bigfoot head. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. That's also, creepy. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. That is creepy. Oh, there's... Wells' car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Ooh, I wonder if I could, like... Graffiti it or something. That'd be really cool. No? Can't? Damn. Why the fuck not? It's a bird! 
bird. Uh, okay. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Elitist Blackwell bird. <laughs> a, a bye? That was so weird. Oh man, I don't wanna. Ooh, skateboard. Who threw a skateboard away? At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. Oh, there's something over here. Beer bottle! That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. Car. His head much? That has to be Skip's car. Deadbeat babies. Bone kick. Feline fister. Ew, that sounds terrible. Crusty rim, sneaky dong. Oh my god. Ghouls and girls. All right then. Well, there's there's another there's a flyer over here. So there's a flyer. No more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities either. Oh boy. So, oh, there's cigarette butts. I was looking for a graffiti place, but I guess there isn't one. one. No one here smokes. Fuck this place. Lights. Oh, see, see. I guess these stage lights are for the tempest. Let's do it. Hmm. Huh. What could the tempest use more of? Oh, pot. Everybody wants to have a good time, right? Nice. Sweet. So, got got a pot graffiti. All right, now I'm good. Now I can go and get punished. Onwards to punishment. It's about damn time. David, oh. please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment, which, of course, just makes this worse. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Obviously. Can we do this later? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what? Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. Coming from the what? man who's never had a child. Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. Oh, so I'm a loser. Thanks, you Dad. Have a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe... I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Uh, uh, Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I... plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. 
At least in the house. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you can't be serious. David and I have discussed it, and we feel this is the only way for us all to have a fresh start. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Oh boy. <sighs> Here we go. You know, it's not even the drug thing. It's his attitude that bothers me, and this is coming from someone who doesn't even do drugs. But the fact that someone is that... Like, I... Fuck you. Sure. Here you go. Show me a warrant, asshole. You watch too much television. Your refusal to comply is as good as an admission. I admit to you being a fascist, and I don't take orders from fascists. What happened to trust being a two-way street? That was before you were expelled. Somewhere along the way, we lost our trust. This is not the way to get it back. Not at all. Okay. That's it? She's basically admitted her guilt. And you're letting her off the hook? I am not letting her off the hook. I am trying to find a way for us to move on. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Oh, that is the worst! That is the worst! No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. It's not a Talk ship. to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. I feel like you guys are fucking terrible people right now. You are not! You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. We had a stable home. It's not that I don't know what it feels like. My father died for crying out loud. I'm a young kid who lost her dad and things are being pushed ever so quickly to change. You guys do not get it. Hey! Fuck off. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. It's not a tantrum, David. This isn't the army. You're not a father. <laughs> I feel for Chloe. It's really sad to, to say it that way, but I feel for Chloe because... Ugh. She has no problem with her mother. She does not like David. David technically does not like Chloe, so it's just really complicated. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? 
Hmm, they got a baseball bat. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? the signs back up with all the blood on it. Well, the paint. Looks like blood. Oh, this is... Is this how Chloe gets her truck? Ugh. It's a rusty old battery. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. Oh. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. So that says new battery, right? Get battery put in truck, okay. Let's see um, what mom has to say. Okay. All right, Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. He's trying. It didn't help that you refused to empty your pockets. Whatever, I'm not going to play along with his little power trip. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. <sighs> okay. You ever hated someone's guts, but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David got it inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me, which meant demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I refused because fuck fascists, and if that's what mom needs to trust me, then that's her problem. I guess it backfired because now David is moving into my old house. I say old house because if he's there, I sure as shit am not. Oh, I also bumped into Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of price. Chloe, bane of fascists. Okay, so let's look for a battery. Is that? Okay, that's the bat. Oh, look, there's the mannequin head I broke. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Uh, let's see, school bus? I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so... awesome. Yeah, school buses sucked. I was on one my entire time in school, elementary and high school. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Make it a great day. <laughs> Fuck you, sign. Light bulb. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Oh, man. Huh. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Well, no, I wanted to... Fuck everything. The light bulb thing... I guess I can't do anything with that yet? Oh, maybe there's a battery in here? Let's 
check this one out. It looks this pretty one bad. Won't work. Yeah, it's all corroded. <sighs> corroded battery for the loose. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Welcome. This mat has seen some things. Mostly feet. <laughs> Obviously. Um, a placemat. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. That sucks. Huh. A police notice. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. Hmm. Well, police uh, confiscated this car. This has to have a new... This thing looks so yeah. new. Maybe the battery still works? Hell yeah. Let's try it. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Everything, apparently. We gotta pop the, the hood trunk. The latch. Not the hood trunk. What the fuck am I talking about? Pop the hood. There we go. I'm surprised the door got ripped off. What the hell's that about? Aw, oh, yeah. In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. It's good. Here we go. The pick of the litter. Nice. Where did you put that? That's a battery! You can't shove a battery in your back pocket, Chloe. It's unrealistic. Oh, there's a syringe. Now that's realistic. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Drug problems, opioids, very bad, don't do them. You're a long way from the beach. Very long. Okay, what else do we have around here? Uh. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but... Who knows? Don't want to leave yet. Oh, I don't want to leave. I was just gonna look around. American Rust. American Rust. Sounds about right. Eh. What, what's that? Leave no trash box unopened. That's my motto. I wonder what's in here. A bobblehead? Sing your song, tiny man. Oh, can we put that on the car? Oh, we got, I got a tiny man. Tiny singy man. Oh, let's do that around here. Oh, dad's car. No, not going over there. Toy robot, I'm trying to go. Oh, this is a boat. Oh, I don't want to climb in the boat. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Okay. Now I'll climb in the boat. Hmm. Oh god, I'm gonna knock the whole boat over. Cigarettes. Out of breath, Chloe. Oh, a pallet. Prop up. It's a pallet. It's not that heavy. I've lifted them before. Yeah, now I can climb in. Shit. 
Well, the fire is still going, huh? Well, that's a hood. Oh! Nearly all great art is made on the insides of car hoods atop ships in the middle of junkyards. Why are you gesturing but not talking? That's creepy. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Burial grounds. Got it. Radical Paradical. <laughs> R.I.P. Captain Bluebeard, 1994-2010. I don't want to climb down yet. Oh. Huh. We're really exploring. Oh, man. I interrupted things! I didn't know she was going to say anything. Damn it. Now I gotta go back up there. I thought we were just going to sit there and do nothing. I should know better though. Usually when these are prompted to just kind of sit and observe, usually they do talk, so that's my bad. Here we go. What you got to say? I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. In conclusion, fire. Pretty sweet. Mm, so you like fire? I do gotta admit, though, there is some kind of beauty in destruction. A little bit. Okay, I think we're done now. Okay. So. That's it. Let's go down. Can I investigate a little bit more over here? Or are you going to stop me? There's a radio. Turn on. Up next, a local band called Pisshead is blowing mines and speakers throughout the bay. Here's their new single, Nothing Wrong. Oh, that's cool. Oh, is that a pirate flag? A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> nice. Alright. Turn it off. Fire poker! I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. 
Okay, and... What's that? A smut magazine? Oh, it's porn. Pretty sure this isn't what Rachel meant when she talked about going to LA to be a model. Then again, it's probably not what this person meant either. Hmm. Fun with candy. Alright then. So there's nothing else over here, right? Correct. I think that's about it. I think I pretty much looked at everything else. Maybe I could look. Oh, nope. Didn't look at everything. There's a lot of stuff Sorry, here. Max, I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Uh, if, only, if only she knew exactly what Max would have been going through a couple years from now. She wouldn't think Max was so lucky. There's a toolbox. Eh. First you take my mom. Then you take my home. God. Fuck you, David. Seriously. A beer bottle. Bottles, bottles everywhere. And not one beer to drink. Eh, yeah, pretty much. A rug. This rug has some miles on it. A little bit. It's why it's in the junkyard. Okay, so that is all that. Oh look, a toilet. I have a place to shit now. Hooray. So that's the camera. Signs back up in the air somehow. Not sure how. Unless it was just tipped or something. That would make sense. This junkyard is massive. I'll explore more after I take this battery back to the truck. Okay, then. Alright, let's insert the battery. Plug her in. See, Chloe's got street smarts because... She remembers stuff that her dad has taught her. It's not that she's stupid, it's just she's completely disinterested in school, but she actually knows a lot of stuff. Are there keys in the car, though? Screwdriver? This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Oh, like... Oh. What, what do I got? Chloe Price. I don't suck? You really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Okay, then. Oh, boy. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. With a rug? Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Maybe the flag? I know someone who would be very happy here. Singing man. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. <laughs> uh, there's a broken bulb. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Oh, from the terrarium thing. That's to leave. Anything else going on here? Okay, so we need to get the bulb. Um, or no, the beach towel maybe for that. And then the rug. 
Yeah. So we got a lot of stuff to collect. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Okay, so first things first. We'll go around like like we did. So by the bus there's a terrarium. We can get the light bulb. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Okay, so we got that. Um Trying to look for stuff. Maybe the pl nope can't take the placemat. Not taking the syringe. Imagine if that was an option in the game. Like, should you let Chloe do drugs? That would be crazy. Get the beach towel. Yeah. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. Okay. All right, keep going. Still some things. That's leaving, so I can't go too far. Time to go back around. There's a fucking rug somewhere. Can't take the robot. Put some smut magazine in the in the thing. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with this. Where's that rug? That rug is somewhere nearby. That's the bat. Better head back to the truck. No, I need stuff. The rug's over here, isn't it? There it is. Rug. Today, you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat. Okay. So we've magically stuck all of this stuff up up our ass, and uh, we're going to go put it in our truck now. Because she's not carrying a purse or a backpack or anything. I don't know where the fuck she's carrying this shit. Let's get in here. Oh, that's weird how I can see myself. Okay, so, fix. So be a red light. Fix. A tie-dye beach towel. Nice. And then... So let's look at... look. It's just you and me, you tiny weirdo. Okay, let's just look at everything. I've seen the light. And it's awesome. Hope my passengers enjoy the smell of sea salt and junkyard. And we'll put the floor... the rug down. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Oh, is that Rachel Amber? Or mom. Yeah. Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Uh oh. Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about? Oh, like drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there. I'll see you. 
Okay. And Frank? Uh, everything cool? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. All those flip phones. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Oh. Let's see. First of all... The inaugural truck tag. Let's, uh, You only get graffiti. one chance to make a first expression. It's too frightening. This'll give intruders something to think about. You are about to dip? Technically, we're all about to die. Oh, about to die. If you take a wide enough view of that. I thought I said you are about to dip. I'm like, dip what? Chips? <sighs> Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. Oh, let's open the glove box. What do we have here? What is that? A hat? Yep. This'll do. What is it? What was it? No idea. Bobble the, the little Is man. Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife. I knew there was something off about that guy. Okay, uh, hunk. Oh, horn works. All right, I guess, uh... Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. I guess we'll smoke. Don't want smoke, but we're gonna smoke. You know, I can relate to Chloe a lot in some ways in that I am a person who likes to sit by myself and think. I'm just gonna fall asleep. Don't fall asleep with a lit cigarette. That's a really bad thing to do. Remember Rachel Amber and the fire? <laughs> fire happens. Oh boy. Shit. I slept all day. Is this a crazy dream we're having? Chloe Bryce, you are about what? to die? What the Oh, hell? we're dreaming. Oh man. Is that her dad? No more car accident dreams? 
Oh. This is crazy. Dad? Car. I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. Oh, that's pretty freaking morbid to think about. I miss him so much. Dad, what are we doing here? We're feeding marshmallows to crows. What do you think? Let's take the stick. And the marshmallow. Do I even like marshmallows? I don't. Not at all. He's gonna say something? Is this it? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us just like darkness but darkness blinds with absence with loss what does fire blind with beauty whoa but sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Oh! Careful of what? <gasps> of getting burned. Oh. My. God. Oh, <laughs> it's creepy. I dislike. I dislike. <laughs>